out here uh, kayaking, uh, co PT. Pretty spectacular. Like, super saturated with uh, tourists, obviously. But, uh, apart from that, the scenery was a lot of fun. I'm still just on the pier. Uh, can't wait to get some uh, nice pictures and enjoy the water. And uh, yeah, stay tuned.
out here uh, kayaking uh, with CoPP. That's pretty amazing. The water's so clear. I can't believe how clear the water is. But it's decided to uh, take a kayak out today. Um, I'm hopefully going to end up at a, a beach just around the cliff here. Um, it's supposed to be pretty nice out here. Anyway, this is amazing. Um, the sea is a little choppy. Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it, it, there's actually quite some big waves once we got outside of the bay. Back behind me over here. Way back, way, way back over there where the houses and stuff are is where I started. Um, it's really too bad. I've been going for about a half an hour now. Um, anyway, definitely, if you come to Co PP, definitely worth renting one of these uh, little kayaks and uh, checking out uh, what's out here, out in the ocean. Um, a lot less people, a little more peaceful. You get to enjoy the nature of it. This uh, kayak here, this little kayak thing here, for one person for half a day was uh, 300 baht. So it's about 12 bucks Canadian. So, yeah, it's not bad, you're not doing it every day, right? Anyway, um, I'm gonna keep on going, try to get to this beach, and I'll see you guys later. beach that I kayaked out to. Um, it's probably the nicest, best beach that I've found so far since I've been in Thailand. Um, just amazing. I love it here. I could stay here for weeks. Definitely worth the, the, uh, the trip out here. I was actually thinking of um, sleeping here one night. Tomorrow night maybe or something. I don't think I will, but uh, just sleep up in uh, Jungle, right on the beach, even, but uh, probably isn't gonna happen. This is uh, this place has the best sand out of any beach so far that I've seen in Mexico. It reminds me, or sorry, excuse me, in, in uh, Thailand, it reminds me of Mexico sand. Super soft, super white. Just this place is awesome. Oh. Uh, this is definitely a little bit of paradise right here. Not too crowded, just some cool people which makes it kind of nice, you know. Amazing.
heading back uh, to Kokipi from my uh, little slice of paradise there. That little beach actually, I uh, just made me think about staying an extra night in, uh, in Kokipi here and just actually coming out to that beach for a whole day. That's uh, Kopipi way off over in the distance there. Probably about a 45 minute paddle from here. Actually all of this is Kopipi. All of this. But definitely thinking about staying and just coming and hanging out at that beach. If you come to uh, Kopipi, definitely, definitely go to some of the, the beaches that are accessed only by boat or water taxi or uh, kayak. They're definitely worth it um, I don't know about the other ones but uh, this one was pretty chill it wasn't too busy it wasn't too packed with people I know Maya Bay the one from the beach is a circus it's there's tours out there and they take you out there for a few hours and stuff and I don't even know if it's worth it like it's just you probably can't even find a place to sit on the beach it's just like shoulder to shoulder people anyway uh, I got to get back into uh, town and uh, get some dinner. Till next time.